On a Synology router, there are two reset options. A soft reset, which allows you to reset your administrator's login credentials, and a hard reset, which will wipe all router settings and reinstall Synology Router Manager. However, as both a hard and soft reset are initialized in a similar way, in this video we're going to demonstrate how you initialize both reset options. As a soft reset, we'll simply create a new administrator's account on our router. We can use a soft reset to gain access to our router settings if we've forgotten our administrator's credentials. On the back of our router, if we locate the reset switch, as the reset switch is recessed, we're going to need to use some sort of reset tool, for example, a pin or paper clip. If we now gently press and hold down the reset button for four seconds, when we release the reset button, the indicator lights on our router do not change unless we're using an MR2200AC where the status light starts to flash blue. Instead, as a soft reset has not wiped any settings on our router and our computer is still wirelessly connected to the internet, if we open a web browser and according to Synology type router.synology.com, we should see the configuration wizard. However, if like us you do not see the configuration wizard for your router, simply enter the IP address for your router into your web browser in order to be presented with the password reset page. We can now either enter an existing administrator's username and assign that account with a new password, or create a new administrator's username and password. For this example, we will be creating a new administrator's username and password. However, as Synology disabled the ability to use the word administrator in an administrator's account, when creating a new administrator's account, we need to avoid using just the word administrator or admin. After selecting Submit, we're informed that we're no longer authorized to use the Reset Password service. Let's select OK to allow our router to display its sign-in page. We can now use the new administrator's account we just created, or sign in using the newly reset password to an existing administrator's account. Having successfully signed into our router, we now need to tidy the administrator's accounts that we've created. If we select Control Panel and choose Users from the sidebar, as you can see, we have the administrator's account we just created along with the default admin account created by our router and the original administrator's account we forgot the details for. While both the admin and our original system admin account have been deactivated, it's a good idea to tidy up our user accounts. So while we forgot the name of our original admin account, because we want to continue to use it, we're going to reactivate the system admin account and then delete the router admin account we just created. If we select our system admin account and then choose Edit, under the heading Info, we have the option Deactivate this account. Let's reactivate this account by removing the tick and selecting OK. If we now reset the password to our original administrator's account, when we choose Apply, we will have two active administrator's accounts on our router. Let's sign out of the router admin account and sign into the original system admin account we just reactivated. If we now open Control Panel and return to Users, as we should not have more than one administrator's account active on our router, we're going to delete the router admin account we created when we performed a soft reset. With the account that we wish to delete highlighted, by selecting the bin icon, we're asked to confirm that we wish to delete the highlighted user. When we select delete, the account is removed from our router. We've now completed a soft reset with our original system admin account, the default administrator's account to our router. On a Synology router, a hard reset will remove all settings and any services that may be running 
and then reinstall Synology Router Manager. So you would typically perform a hard reset. If you want to reconfigure your router from scratch, or you intend to sell, decommission, or give it away. As there are two ways to hard reset a Synology router, we're going to look at both. So let's start by performing a hard reset from within Synology Router Manager. If from the sign in page on our router, we log into our administrator's account, by selecting Control Panel, and in the sidebar choosing System. Under the heading Update and Restore, and in the subheading Configuration Backup and Restore, we have an option called Restore Factory Default Settings. By selecting this option, we're asked to confirm that we wish to factory reset our router. If we tick the checkbox next to I understand all my data will be deleted forever and be unrecoverable, the erase all button will start a countdown. When the countdown ends, if we select erase all data, our router will reboot and perform a factory reset. As performing a factory reset, we'll also reinstall Synology Router Manager. It can take up to 10 minutes to complete. The alternative method for performing a factory reset is via the reset button on our router. You should find that on the back of your router, you have a reset button. So using some sort of reset tool, for example, a paperclip or pin, and gently pressing and holding down the reset button for 10 seconds, our router will begin to perform a factory reset. Regardless of whether you perform a hard reset with Synology Router Manager or via the device itself, we will know that we are factory resetting our router because the indicator lights on the front of our router will blink out and the status light will change from green to orange. You will find that it takes between 5 to 10 minutes for your router to reset to factory defaults. However, it should be noted that while your router performs its hard reset, you should not switch it off or remove it from its power supply as this could damage the Synology Router Manager software and prevent your router from functioning properly. We will have completed a factory reset when the status light on our router starts to blink green, or in the case of the MR2200AC, blink blue. To confirm that our router has been factory reset, if we use a computer to inspect the wireless access points in our location, we will find part of an access point with its name beginning with Synology underscore. If we connect to this wireless access point using the password Synology and then open a web browser by typing router.synology.com into the address bar, we will be shown the initial Synology router startup page, which confirms that we've performed a hard reset on our router. We can now either switch off our router or reconfigure it.